Back here now, state leaders are weighing in on Smith & Wesson's departure from the Commonwealth. 22 News State House reporter Jody Reed asked Governor Baker what he plans to do to help the families that will be affected by this move. Smith & Wesson announced that they plan to leave Massachusetts by 2023, and they're taking hundreds of jobs with them. Governor Baker said his priority right now is to retrain some of the workers that may lose their income once the company leaves. Last week, Smith & Wesson said they plan to move their operations from Massachusetts to Tennessee. The popular gun manufacturer blames Massachusetts gun laws for its departure. One bill filed this session would ban companies like Smith & Wesson from producing assault-style weapons and high-capacity magazines, which made up more than 60 percent of their sales last year alone. Massachusetts lawmakers believe the company is using the bill as a scapegoat, and now they're turning their attention to workforce training to help the people that may be affected by the move. We're certainly going to work closely with the company and make sure that we do all we can do to provide the folks who are going to lose their jobs with opportunities to re-credential and reskill. The governor is hoping to see the legislature approve funding from the American Rescue Plan to help with the retraining process. Smith & Wesson has offered its employees relocation packages, so many of the jobs may end up leaving Massachusetts altogether. Now, the people that do decide to stay in the Commonwealth will have the opportunity to learn a new skill or find another job in the manufacturing sector. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Jody Reed, 22 News.